Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. This is a sincere message to all the people in India, both Muslims and non Muslims. I inform you truly that the true hadith uh, about the army who will go to paradise, who will be protected from hellfire. That is not the one who will fight against India. That is not about Ghazwai, Ghazwai Hind. Rather, it is the one uh, who will fight for Khatmi Nubuwa. Khatmi Nubuwa means the finality of the prophethood of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Everyone must know, and we all Muslims do believe, that Muhammad وسلم, was the final of the prophets and final of the messengers. So the people who attack this finality of prophethood, those who attack this Khatmi Nubuwa, this army will fight against them. Where they will fight, when they will fight, and who will fight, Almighty God, Allah, knows best. We are no one to add anything to the, to the saying of the final Prophet Muhammad wasallam. The Hadith says that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said that two armies will be protected from the hellfire. One army is, is the one who will be with Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, and will fight against the Jal. The second army is the one uh, who will fight for Khatmi Nubuwa. That means against the attackers on Khatmi Nubuwa. So the people, any people, whether Muslims or non-Muslims, shouldn't misunderstand the Hadith this hadith, some people changed and they made it uh, about Ghazwa Hind. No, this is not true. The, the hadith is not about Ghazwa Hind. The hadith is not about fighting against Hind, India. Therefore, the non-Muslims in Hind, in India, shouldn't kill Muslims due to this hadith. And also the Muslims shouldn't fight with Indian, uh, with Indian non-Muslims, thinking that, that that will be the army who will be protected from hellfire. Both of you should think and coordinate and come together in peace and should do good to each other. As you are living in one country, so you must do good to each other. I believe and I understand that Muslims, they are a nation who will never do harm to anyone. Those Muslims who are true Muslims, true practicing Muslims who follow the Holy Quran and who, who follow the, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, they will not harm anyone. You know, we, can, we cannot do, we cannot speak loudly because nowadays, you see, our houses are not separate. When I was small, our houses were separate from each other, having a yard and having uh, a boundary wall. So we had uh, greater freedom. Now the houses are made like apartments in one building, one upon the other, side by side. So as Muslims, we cannot speak loudly after 10 o'clock at night. We cannot do any free movement. We cannot uh, make noise by washing dishes in the kitchen at night. Why? Because we fear God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he said three times, Wallahi la yu'minu, Wallahi la yu'minu, Wallahi la yu'minu. I swear by Allah that, that he doesn't believe. He said this sentence three times. The companions asked him, 
who ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam and he said the one from whose torture his neighbor is not free so now as muslims we fear if we speak loudly really we speak to each other you know we may not be sleeping at 10 o'clock exactly so we we try to to just to whisper to each other because we don't want to go out of the faith of islam as the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the man the one from whose torture his neighbor is not free is not a mu'min is not a believer the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said this so we fear a lot we don't want to torture our neighbors even if we speak loudly and they are sleeping then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be angry with us and then we will be among those people who don't have faith so we 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 seek the refuge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from such a condition so then how is it possible that muslims would harm other people and this neighbor it is not only the neighbor who is uh, side by side with us or above or under our house in a, in a building in the apartments rather allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named many type of neighbors in surah nisa when we when we travel by a bus or a train or a, an aeroplane the the people sitting uh, on our sides they are also our neighbors jari bi jam yani there are many type of neighbors who, which are mentioned by allah subhanahu wa taala in the in the holy quran in surah nisa so we have to be careful about all those neighbors we cannot do anything to harm them even the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that uh, we 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 shouldn't smell our delicious foods uh, to our neighbors if we give them the smell of our delicious food then we must share share our food with them also the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prohibited us from giving fruit to our children and go out and eat it in front of the children of the neighbors no if we cannot afford to feed the neighbor children then we must feed our children at home they must take their fruit and eat at home and if we show the fruit to the children of the neighbors then we must give it to them also this is our religion islam therefore please stop fighting in in uh, in india and stop killing muslims and stop arresting muslims and stop torturing muslims the indian go- government may be thinking that now there is no one to look after the muslims to fight for the muslims because the indian government doesn't fear god they believe in in in, in statues handmade statues and what can handmade statue do to them they understand this point if they really believed in a true one god then they would not torture the muslims due to fear of allah wa ma alayna illa al balagh ma as salam